supercharge your lessons and your lesson prep using the power of AI. So let's jump into it. Now here on the computer, you can see I've already opened up the application and it's called Twi. It's currently in beta, it's completely free of charge. Now they will probably start charging down the line, but right now, jump in and have a play with it. Now Twi provides you with many different tools, all using the power of AI to speed up your lesson prep. So let me just show you what it looks like. Here you can see we have a number of different tools. We can create text on a topic, open-ended questions, ABCD multiple choice questions, true false statements, and we can even pull in YouTube videos and then translate that into text or even have it automatically create questions from a YouTube video. So let's have a look at all these things in action. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to select create a text on a certain topic. So we're going to open this up. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll give it a topic. Now let's say that I'm in a key stage one classroom and we've just read the book Zog by Julia Donaldson. So I'm going to use that as my topic. The book Zog written by Julia Donaldson. That's all the information it needs. Now, what genre do we want it to generate? We can have text, fictional story, informal letter, formal letter, review, descriptive article, argumentative art article. I'm just going to stick to text and we're going to leave the level at simple. Now you have an intermediate and advanced reading level. This is a key stage one class, so we're going to leave it at simple. Then I can also include a number of target vocabulary. I'm not going to do that now. So let's go ahead and click on do the magic. Now what you'll see is here on the right hand side, it's going to start generating that text. You can see it automatically knows what I'm talking about. Zog is a book written by Julia Donaldson. It's all about a dragon who goes to school and wants to learn how to be a dragon. So he drives very hard, always gets hurt. A princess comes by to help him and teaches him how to fly, etc., etc. So what we can do now is we can continue. We can say, okay, I like this. I can copy this, paste this into my lesson plans or share with students. However, when I scroll down, I can do even more using tweet. So here I can now create a fill in the gap. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on fill in the gap. It presents me with that text and I'm going to have my students fill in Julia Donaldson. I'm also going to just eliminate the golden star. I want them to tell me it was a golden star. So we're going to highlight golden. We to scroll down, it's a great book. Let's get rid of the word book. And then also if you like dragons and adventure stories, let's remove adventure. We're going to click on do the magic. And what that does is now going to create a fill in the gap, automatically taking those words out. So you can see here at the top, we get the words Donaldson, Golden, Julia, adventure. They have to fill it in. And then the correct answers are at the bottom. Again, we can quickly copy this or delete the response. Let's take it a step further. Let's go back up. Let's add some discussion questions on this same text. I'm going to click on discussion questions and it's automatically going to do the magic on the book Zog written by Julia Donaldson. So here you can see we have a number of questions. Have you ever read a book by Julia Donaldson before? What's your favorite children's book and why? Do you know what Zog means and represents in the story? So this is really going to cut down on your prep time. This will allow you to quickly get everything you need ready for your lessons. Okay, let's go back to our main text. Let's try something else. Let's have a look at, let's see if we can find some essential vocabulary. So let's go ahead and click on that. It's going to pull out all the essential vocabulary on the book saga written by Julia Donaldson. And there we go. We have a number of ideas right there that we can now take back to class. We don't have to stop there. We can even go back to the top and we can add a true or false statements. Let's go ahead and do true or false. This is our book written by Julia Donaldson. Again, we can input any text we want, but let's carry on with Zog by Julia Donaldson and let's do the magic. And here we are. Zog is a book about a princess who teaches a dragon how to fly. True or false? Zog always succeeds in his attempts to be a dragon. True or false? And so here we then have all the answers at the bottom. Again, we can copy this and quickly use this. Let's have a look at something else that we can do with Twi. When we go back to home, you'll see that here at the bottom we have a number of examples. So we've already looked at discussion questions. We've already looked at creating different fill in the gaps. Now here, 
we have create a matching word definition exercise. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to create a word definition exercise. And the words that we're going to try to match to definitions are all going to be in relation to animals. So let's go ahead and add in carnivore, comma, I'm going to say habitat, comma, scales, comma, um, let's say snake, comma, and let's say hibernate. Okay, let's do the magic. There we go. It's automatically going to take those words. It's going to find the definitions. And we now get our exercises right here on the right hand side. We have all our definitions, all our words, and then here the correct matches. So we can copy paste that. Let's go back to home. Let's find something completely different. Let's scroll down and let's see what it does with the YouTube. Now here we have two options. We have YouTube video to text and we also have create questions for a YouTube video. So let's go ahead and do YouTube video to text. I'm going to use one of my old videos. So let's go ahead and get that link. And now we can select an extract. Now we can select up to five minutes. Let's just stick to the beginning section and let's click on do the magic. Now it's automatically going to listen through that video and then it's going to create a transcript of that video. So here you can see it is listening at five times and you can see it's really working through that video and it is taking all the text from the video so that I can then use it later on. And here it is. Now it's not perfect, but it's a great starting point. Scrolling down, I can now summarize this. I can create a fill in the gap. A, B, C, D, multiple choice questions, open-ended questions, true and false statements. Brilliant. Right, let's go back to home. And now let's use that same video, but let's create questions from a YouTube video. So let's go ahead and pop that video in here. And let's say what sort of questions we want. Do we want multiple choice questions, true or false or open-ended? I'm going to say open-ended questions and let's do the magic. Twee is automatically going to go through the transcript and then generate those open-ended questions. So here you can see we have a number of questions already. What is the purpose of combining data from multiple sheets? How many parts does a Google Sheet file contain? How can you ensure that the header is the same? What is an array? An excellent example of using AI to cut down on all your prep time. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in that comment section below. Are you going to use this? Have you used Twee before? Are you going to sign up for it? Now, if you are looking to sign up to Twee, then you simply go to app.twee.com. Now here, you can click on sign up here. And then here you will be asked for your name, email, and who shared this website to you. By all means, go ahead and pop in our channel name at the top and let them know that you found out about Twee via the Flipped Classroom Tutorial YouTube channel. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.